Friends, I am Dr. Amdekar. In the last series of five videos, my colleagues discuss issues related to the growth problems. Dr. Anjali Gokarna first started talking about whether poor weight could be normal or abnormal. And she made a strong play that weight by itself cannot be a measure of health, but is far more important to follow the trajectory, the centiles of weight gain, and even after the growth is complete, sustaining the weight within a kilo or two throughout life is an important way of monitoring weight at all age groups. This is important because person can have a bit of a lower weight as compared to the others at that age, but he could be very active, he could be playful, energetic, and he is happy and he is maintaining the same centile, then it is called normal. Of course, with every acute illness, there is some small weight loss, but the person recovers that lost weight within a week or two. And that is important again to follow up whether you gain whatever is lost within a short time. However, merely just the weight loss without any symptoms could be really a clue to a hidden problem such as maybe a chronic infection or a chronic organ dysfunction or even in uh, old age it could mean a hidden malignancy. Friends, it is that important to monitor weight and it is this such a simple maneuver that if people understand and monitor themselves, they could easily pick up early deviation. Of course, in infancy and early childhood, it could simply be due to a poor intake of nutrition itself. Having discussed the problem of uh, lower weight, the other extreme is an obesity. And Dr. Palni Raman in the next video mentioned that obesity is a multi-organ disorder. It affects not only the heart in terms of a poor cardiac function or hypertension, but it also has a respiratory dysfunction, a sleep apnea. It could of course have a fatty liver ending up with a liver damage, a gallstones, osteoarthritis, diabetes, so on and so forth. Every organ can be affected in obesity and the worst to happen is also the disturbed mental health. Thus friends, obesity is an important issue today and in India, large number of people are getting obese in all the socioeconomic group, including the poor socioeconomic group, including the rural population. This is preventable, it's not treatable. Therefore, weight monitoring even for an unnecessary increase in weight is an important issue. When you suddenly find that your weight trajectory is going on the higher centiles, you need to look at the cause of such a thing. And it's easy that if you are tall and obese, then almost always is exogenous. That is a mall nutrition. You go to mall and eat all rubbish food and then you have a poor exercise. This is pretty pretty common. But of course, it could be also a manifestation of any syndromic problem. And more important, if a person who is obese and short, then it's very likely an endocrinal problem. And I think this is very very important. And therefore, friends, both ways, either an underweight or an overweight, could be an easy clue to monitor your health. And that's why we have a bathroom weighing scales where once in a week or a fortnight you weigh naked and confirm that you are either growing as per the expected or you are sustaining weight not going up or not going down much beyond a kilo or two and not certainly without a reason. Having discussed the weight issues, in the following video, Dr. Chokhani discussed about the heights. Friends, we all know that 
everyone wants to achieve height, but not everyone can. He emphasized that we must confirm first whether the person is really of a short height or not. And he said it should be a less than two standard deviation as per the expected age or the ethnic society's norms. Once you know that a person is short, this is especially important before the growth is complete. And if the child is short or an adolescent is short, then you want to know what is the reason for this being short. Already earlier I said that short and obese is always endocrine. And therefore, if you find that a person has not only a short height but also poor weight, then of course he is often sick looking and the cause is either a chronic infection or a chronic organ dysfunction. Therefore, Dr. Chokani said that a clinical approach first look at whether the given short stature person is sick or not sick. And a sick is obviously a chronic infection or a chronic organ dysfunction. But if he is not sick and still short, then you want to look at whether this is endocrinal like hypothyroid or uh, hypopituitarism, for example, a growth hormone deficiency or a pan hypopituitarism, or it could be uh, any kind of chondrodystrophies or skeletal dysplasia, or of course, it could be simply a genetic or a constitutional. They are all otherwise not sick people, but they are short. It's important to find out also whether it could be some syndromic, like in a female, a Turner syndrome is one of the common causes of a short stature. And therefore, a good clinical examination is important to pick up any other abnormality along with short stature. And those abnormalities could be easily hidden. And this is important. Again, you need to track the trajectory during the growing period and thereafter, of course, the height doesn't change much. This is very, very important. But on the other extreme of a short stature, you have sometimes a tall stature. And therefore, in the following video, Dr. Sridhar Ganpati discussed about tall stature. And he again said that though a tall people look very, very confident, a community gets attracted towards them. There are also problems of being tall, like they are more prone to varicose veins, osteoarthritis, so on and so forth. But when you see somebody excessively tall, more than beyond two standard deviation a height for that particular ethnic group, we start wondering whether this is simply a constitutional or genetic problem or whether it is any abnormality. And again here, friends, syndromic issues need to be sorted out by a good clinical examination. For example, you may have a Marfan syndrome with hypermobility and uh, looseness of the subcutaneous tissue or skin. You may have other syndromes like a Sotos syndrome with intellectual disability. And such detailed examination to pick up, for example, an undescended testis in a syndromic tall style would be a Kleinfelter syndrome. And then you may have a homocystinuria as another metabolic disorder which presents with tall stature. It's rare to find out an excess of growth hormone and therefore gigantism or acromegaly is not a common uh, presentation uh, to a clinician, but syndromic tall stature should not be overlooked and it's possible only with a good clinical examination. And finally, related to growth, Dr. Tushar Manier discussed about the bony deformities. And he said there could be many congenital deformities in the skull because of the premature uh, fixation closure of the suture lines. It could be chest-like, a pectus 
excavatum or pectus carinum. It could be in the spine, scoliosis, kyphosis and so on, lordosis. It could be in the limbs like a talipus, equinovirus or it could be either knock knees or bow legs. Multiple such things. But he also mentioned about some of the acquired ones beyond chondrodystrophy, epiphyseal enlargement. You could have rickets of all kinds where you also have a bony deformities coming up. They could be the result of not only the vitamin D deficiency or rickets but also due to a chronic renal or rarely even a chronic hepatic disorders. Friends, then in this series we discuss growth issues of different kinds, the lower or a higher weight and a lower or a higher height besides bony deformities. Now we are coming to the last series of symptom analysis and that will be really concerned with many subspecialities though many generalists would be the first to see such problem and therefore the next series starts with a video on skin rash which Dr. Rajesh Chokhani will deliver. I hope you have been enjoying this whole series and after the last series of about six or seven videos that are coming, we will have a chat show to kind of revise under the title Lest We Forget. I hope you will continue to be with us. Thank you very much.